Hey everybody, it's your boy Nate coming back at you with another Pokemon TCG COD opening. So it's a busy day for me today. It's Friday, uh, November 13, 2020. This video is going to be uploaded, obviously, a couple days, maybe a week after that. Busy day for me in the mail. Got lots of stuff going on. Just posted a vlog for the first time, so I hope people enjoyed that. Um, in the mail today, I received this Eternatus VMAX box. Um, pretty jazzed up about it. I've been wanting to get back into some Darkness Ablaze for a little bit. There is a uh, VMAX Charizard Ultra Hyper Rare. I don't know, Hyper Rare? Something like that that I 100% uh, want to pull. Uh, also, just getting some of these Eternatus cards is going to be super cool. Um, and there's some other kind of just catch cards that I'm interested in this uh, for. And then I want to fill out uh, the rest of my binder. So give me a quick binder update. I mean, you can see here for uh, these are the Darkness Ablaze. You know, I've got a lot of blank spaces like... Taylor Swift style in here to fill out. I have not pulled as many Darkness of Blaze as I've wanted to, so I'm really hoping to get a bunch of good stuff from that today. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to get into this right now. So uh, let's take a look here. So actually, let's just go over. So I do, again, I mean, this is what I would call like a very cool, I don't know, a pre, I mean, it says premium collection, so I guess I'll just say premium collection. Um, this is a pretty cool box altogether. I would say if you're, um, you know, we're, what, a month and a half from Christmas, so if you're looking for something to purchase for somebody, this would be a cool thing. Uh, obviously, if you can get them something like Vivid Voltage or Champion's Path, like, go for that. Uh, that'd be great, too, but um, looking at this Overall, let's take a look at the back so because it lists what's inside of it. So, Eternatus V Max Premium Collection. So you get the full art uh, promo card f featuring Eternatus V. So that is uh, that's this guy. So that's pretty cool. And then you also get the Eternatus V Max card. So there's not a lot of V Max cards in these promos, right? There's a lot of the V cards, but not the V Max. I think the only other one that I'm really familiar with, and I could be wrong on this, is the Meowth one. Uh, there's a Meowth VMAX uh, box, and I think that retails for $30. This guy's $40. I picked it up at Target. So you get the Eternatus V, the Eternatus VMAX, a collector's pen, which is always cool. Again, I'm not super into them. A lot of other people are. So I've just been kind of uh, collecting them to the side, keeping them safe, not just throwing them in a tin anywhere. But uh, they're still kind of cool. Uh, an oversized foil card. This will be my fourth foil card recently. Um, still don't know what to do with those. Um, trying to find something to protect them with. So please, if you guys have uh, a link for like a binder or card sleeves, I think um, BGS, I think that's the card brand. I, I've heard that they might have some of the like bigger sleeves for those cards. I'd like to keep them safe. I mean, they're still kind of cool. Um, it'd be nice to find a way to display them a little bit. I haven't figured that out yet. But if I come up with an idea or maybe... You guys have ideas in the comments that I could test out, and uh, we could look into that. Uh, metallic Pokemon coin, which I always, I always feel like that's so misleading. The metallic coin, like it's not a metal coin; it's like shiny, but it's not meta Like it's not a metal coin. Um, six TCG booster packs, as you saw. I think. Uh, let's see. We'll look at it deep closer when we get into it, but um, I think at least two Darkness Ablaze, maybe three. Um, there's an Evolutions pack in the back here, which I'm excited about. And then a couple Sword and Shield base. Hopefully no Rebel Trash, but we'll see what happens. And then um, and then a card code. So, you know, standard getting those card codes uh, for you guys, which I'll share with you in just a minute. All right. Ooh, yeah. There's a little bit of the unboxing experience. There's your uh, code card. Sorry, it's upside down, but uh, you know, free is free, right? Um, okay, cool. So we'll just pull out this pen first. So it's the Eternatus pen. Pretty cool. So in the actual sword, short and uh, sorry about that. Sword and Shield game for the Nintendo Switch. Um, Eternatus is kind of a, a legend. He's a legendary Pokemon. Him, Zacian, and Zamazenta are uh, all the legendaries from the game, really. Um, 
the interesting thing is that um, Gigantamaxing or Dynamaxing in that game is kind of a huge deal. But these three legendary Pokemon actually don't Dynamax or Gigantamax, uh, which is super interesting. Um, Eternatus in particular is kind of nice for, uh, I think people use him in raid dungeons in the game because he has a special move that takes out a lot more damage. It might like be double damage against um, Gigantamaxed Pokemon. So he's a good sweeper for, uh, for dungeons and sword and shield. Um, otherwise, he's just kind of a cool card cool Pokemon. I believe he's a dragon and poison type uh, in the game. So that's pretty cool. And there's a pretty epic, uh, spoiler alert, there's an epic final battle with, um, depending on which game you have, uh, Zamasenta or Zacian, Zacian, I'll say it different every time, uh, where you battle them against uh, Eternatus, which is super cool, really neat. Um, I love the cutscenes for that. Um, so that's just a cool thing. If you, if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, uh, why not? Uh, you know, do your best. Maybe you can, uh, go and hang out with a buddy for a weekend and play it on their system or whatever. Or if you've got a switch, you know, pick it up. It's, I, th I think it's worth it, especially with the new DLC. So I'll toss that guy in the back. The oversized card. All right. Hello. Hello, ladies. Uh, Eternatus V Max. Okay, so evolves for Eternatus V. Inter Internamax. That's cool. Uh, his internal zone. So he's a really cool uh, promo card. He's weak to fighting types because he is a dark type in this game uh, or in the, on this card. So I love those. There's texture on this card, which I think is really neat. Got to find a better way to store these. So please, 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 if you've got an idea in the comments, please share with me, boyos. And girlos and picolos. Um, here's the metallic coin here. So it's got Eternatus on it. So that's pretty neat. Throw that bad boy back there. Four, five, six. Put these to the side. So with um, with this box, like I said earlier, it retails for $40. Um, I actually used a promo code for um, that, and I got 25% off. Whoa, that went flying. And a target for so. Target Circle, which is free. Um, you get 25% off one uh, toy or game, I think. And this counts as one of the two. I think sometimes it counts as a, sometimes it'll count as game and sometimes it'll count as toy. Um, it just kind of depends on the promo. So I use that um, plus my red card plus another, I think I had like 10% off two for it. So um, between all those savings, I think I got it for, I don't know, like 25 bucks, something like that. So that's, that's a, just a great deal. Anytime you can get Pokemon cards for for less than, uh, for less is just a good deal. So here we go. Here's that. Oh, man, this is a cool, this is just a beauty of a card. Um, I love the green and the blue and the, what is that? Is that pink? It might be pink. Um, you'll see, unfortunately, even though it's a promo card, right, so it doesn't matter that much, it is off center from top to bottom <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot chunkier up there than it is down there and uh doesn't really hold, follow through on the back the back isn't as bad but the front seems pretty bad so this is the eternatus v love that promo card um i actually will i'm gonna sleeve that bad boy up because why not so i got my ultra pro sleeves right here just a regular penny sleeve Boop. and then i'll put him up here just to show off again oh hey guys sorry about that so uh i was uh going through and uh something seemed weird with the video so i uh stopped for a little bit and it looks like i got cut off a little bit so i think uh it's gonna jump forward in time here so sorry about that um basically all that you missed was i just pulled out these eternatus uh, v and v max cards um i think that they're really spot on and look really cool um, I've already kind of spoken about Eternatus V in, or Eternatus, excuse me, in the Pokemon games. So I think he's a welcome addition to the party. Both of these promo cards, I actually kind of prefer the Eternatus V card more. I think it just looks better with all that gold and green, and I guess not really gold, but green and blue background swirl. The Eternatus V Max looks cool, right? Looks super cool, but I think it's like a little busy on the card for me. I like, I like this one better. It's a little cleaner. It looks a little cooler to me. So I'm going to put those back up here um in the kind of like vip section and i hope this new kind of angle is working out for people um here's the code card if i didn't give that before 
I think it I think it looks a little bit nicer for openings. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now that I got this Mar Marnie mat um, from Champions Path, I think uh, just looks a little bit uh, better. So here we go. I'm just ordering these here. So we've got two Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield Base, a Rebel Trash, um, which is okay. If you like Rebel Clash, sorry that I keep calling it Rebel Trash. It's just uh, it's like the least interesting of the new sets with Sword and Shield. A burning Shadows and an XY Evolution. So I've been pulling a lot of Evolutions recently, just one pack at a time, obviously. So I, uh, I'm excited to see what this what this has to offer in it. Um, I, th I think I'm going to open this one last. I always like I like uh, if there I mean if there's a Charizard in there, that's a sweet way to end the video. Um, and then I'll just open these guys kind of in pack order. So I'll start with the Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows. Do, 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 do. And I'm not super familiar with the values on a lot of the Sun and Moon packs. Um, you know, I think some of the cards are pretty cool. Um, not as, I don't think Sun and Moon blew up the same way that um, Sword and Shield is blowing up right now. Uh, Lightning Energy, Simapore. Some of that might just have something to do with like Pokemon, just the card selection. I mean, that always happens, right? So if you got a Charizard in a set or like a good Pikachu, like it's going to blow up. Electabuzz, Stuffle, Pan Sage, Crow Gunk. Pikachu, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Pan Poor. Oh, nice. A reverse rare, or not reverse rare, reverse hollow, excuse me. Pikachu. God, I really do like the artwork on this Pikachu. I think that looks super cool. And then, obviously, just the, the streaks on this are... Man, that's dope. I love that. And then, um, oh, nice. Porygon Z holographic. Dope, dope, dope. So, I don't know. I'm sure these cards are worth, like, a buck, right? Uh, or something like that. But um, they're cool for me. I like that. And I I missed out on a lot of Sword and she or Sun and Moon because I just wasn't pulling at the time. So, um, I don't know. That's cool for me. I like adding to the collection. Um, maybe I'll be able to, maybe I'll pick up a binder or something and start working on those. I've been really just working on the, uh, <coughs> Sword and Shield, um, sets, so the four sets, and then I'll have a separate binder for Champion's Path, because that one's a little smaller than the other ones, so I don't need as big of a, you know, I don't need as big of a, toss that code card over there, don't need as big of a binder to, to house those. Um, I've been pretty lucky um, able to fit right now two sets of cards so at least with the um, rebel clash and the sword and shield base i've been able to fit two of them into a single binder a 360 um, side load ultra pro um, basically how i do that is i put everything in there up until we get to like the secret rare section um, but those cards are the ones that i put in top loaders and protect a little bit more anyway so i don't really want those in a binder i know some people put them in a binder and that's cool that's fine with me i don't care how you keep your cards um, but i just want to keep them like a little bit more protected so i keep them there and then i put them in tens and then i keep them in a you know a, a, a good place that's not like really you know you don't want to keep them necessarily in your basement unless your basement is like got like a human dehumidifier in it or whatever to you don't want those to collect moisture or anything um shelter mall valerian ponyta sobel maractus glossifleur for the reverse hollow and oh cool a riperior holographic so i don't have this card so that'll be nice a nice addition to my collection as General Grievous. People keep calling me and keep screwing up my video. Sorry, guys. Um, so nice additions to my collection here. Um, again, they're probably not really, they're not like the high value, like break in the bank card, but um, they're still cool to me. So I really do like, I like the art on here, actually. Um, he's like, I am here to crush everything. So I'll throw that back there. So that's, Decent pulls so far. All right, let's go. I mean, two hollows. Back to back uh, packs. So I like that. Turnitus V Max. Holding true. Not, uh, we'll see. Maybe we can get something a little crazier. The Darkness of Blaze, I do want, really want to get me a Charizard. A Charizard. Let's see here. All right, fire. 
bronze on. Ooh, a nugget. 5K right there, baby. Skull tank, or excuse me, skunk tank. Squovit, Galarian Mr. Mime. Ugh, the thing of nightmares. Caterpie, Barboach. Aracuda. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Ooh, Scovit for the reverse hollow. I don't think I have this artwork. So it looks like different artwork. Woohoo! There we go. The pulls continue. Much success. Very nice. Um, Inteleon V. And this is the full art. Okay, so this guy is. Okay, yeah, so this has the texture on it. He's just like bonding it up. He's like Leon, Inteleon. That's. That's his jam. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I am very jazzed about this. Not bad, not bad. Maybe I gotta, maybe, maybe I gotta stop talking so much trash about Rebel Clash. Maybe. Maybe I've just been waiting to get a good pull. And the centering looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to do this and kind of laying them out here in a <laughs> seemingly particular order, but not really. So here we go. So we got our, got our super awesome ultra rare, hyper rare, secret rares here. Our regular hollow rares, our uh, reverse hollows, and then the promo cards there. So switching over to the darkness of blaze. Say it with me at home, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone of everyone everywhere, shout, get a Charizard. I need I need the support. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. Metal energy. Hiding energy. That's neat. They have so many different energy cards now. Like when I was a kid, it was like you got like seven energy cards, right? There's no, there's no difference between them. Like, if you got a double colorless energy, it's like, whoa, that's crazy. Um, speaking of crazy, the Spunnel B is high. Um, Mad Hatter, for sure. Paris. Larvitar. Pierce for the reverse. He's pretty cool. And then Vanillux. Womp womp. That's the rare. But can't win them all. And, I mean, I cannot be upset about the pulls that I've been getting with this box today. I think... Um, Definitely above average. That Inteleon is so is cool. I mean, it just is cool. I'm still kind of just like taking it in. It's a it's a beautiful card, and I'm, I'll uh, let you guys look at them again one more time before we close up shop on this video. But my boy Toxel right there. There's your code card. If you do, uh, if you are able to get one of those codes, uh, if you could just leave me a like, uh, I appreciate that <laughs> since I'm. Throwing those out there, and people who play the game online, I mean, I hope that you're here for more than just the codes, I guess. Um, Shenotic, Flaffy, again, one of those uh, kind of more interesting card arts. Um, Toxel, he just looks like he's not having a good day. Sinisty, Carablast, actually, you know what, going back to Sinisty, kind of some interesting things. In the game, um, some people don't realize it, but it's evolved form. Um... It's a teapot, basically, right? So this guy looks like Chip. The teapot looks like uh, Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Holla. Shout out there to Disney. Um, the the pot one, um, Pull Tea Geist, that's what it's called. In the game Sword and Shield on Switch, there's actually two versions of it. So there's like an antique version and then a knockoff version. And I don't think you know what you get until you evolve. So you, I don't think there's a way to know like if your Sinistee is going to turn into like the cool, like the rarer version or the regular version. There's no difference in stats, no difference in moves, I don't think. The only difference is if you look at the Pokemon in your Pokedex and you like switch it to the bottom so like you can kind of like move it around and you see on the bottom of it, one will have a certain symbol and one will have another symbol. And that's how you can kind of check and see if it's rare or if it's fake or the, you know, antique version, the real one. Um, because I guess the idea is this is a ghost Pokemon that uh, like inhabits uh, old teapots or whatever. So that's just like a cool little fun fact for you if you didn't know. Uh, Carablast, Meltan, Marnie. Ooh, Heatran, Reverse Hollow. And he is a rare. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
sweet, uh, I think a mythical is what you'd call this. And then, hoo -hoo -hoo! yeah, baby, we coming, we coming, what's up, we coming. All right, Salamence V, what a beaut. He's coming at you from every side. Um, I love the hollow again, all these V cards. Um, centering looks pretty good. This is my guy. Like, he's got kind of a dark little uh, evolution story, I'll say. Um, so he comes from the uh, Gen 3, so that's, uh, I think that's Hoenn, right? So that's uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Emerald was my game growing up, still one of my favorite games uh, in the Pokemon series. But his uh, prior evolution, Bagon, he's basically just like a, a little... Or Shelgon, excuse me. So Bagon evolves into Shelgon. Shelgon's just like a dude, like, like just like a little dragon wrapped in like a hard rock, right? But basically, the way he evolves is like he like goes around. He's training up until he grows like confident enough to throw himself off of a cliff. And I think they changed the the background for it a little bit because it was a little dark. But like they throw themselves off a cliff. And, like, that's how they evolve. Like, they learn to fly because they, like, see other Salamences and their just dream is they just want to fly, which is awesome. That's, like, super cool. But it's, like, kind of dark, too, because I don't think all of them make it. Um, so maybe there's a ghost-type evolution in the future for that. I think that would be a cool, um, like, Hoenn-specific form. Like, if they did a regional uh, variant, um, do a, an evolution where, uh, you know... Unfortunately, that uh, <laughs> Shelgon didn't make it, but he's like a sweet ghost type now. So that's cool. I'm gonna throw that guy in the in the in the awesome section up there. Last pack for this. Last pack magic X Y evolutions. Hoping for some cool good pulls on that. Any of the starters would be cool. There's like some random mega cards thrown in here. It's kind of a crazy hodgepodge of interesting. Um, interesting Pokemon in that set. Like, they, they, they cover a huge, um, a wide berth of, or a wide selection of, of Pokemon. A lot of, again, a lot of the art for this is based off of um, the base sets. Um, so base set, base set two, which is really just jungle and fossil and base set. So, um, yeah, there's your code card. So kind of cool to get the revisited art. I think it's three and get some updated stats for these Pokemon because obviously Pokemon now are a lot stronger and crazier than they were in the back in the back in the day. So Pokedex, I think I think Charizard had 120 HP. And that was like the strongest card. Like Mewtwo had like 90 HP. Comparative now, like that Eternatus over there has 340 HP. I mean it's just like the card game is so much crazier than it was. Magmar Rotata Growlithe Nidoran Volpix, hey cutie, how are you doing? Sandshrew, Caterpie for the reverse rare, and, or excuse me, reverse hollow, and <gasps> we, oh man, this is a crazy box, guys. Crazy. I'm pretty sure, oh man, look at that gold border. Mewtwo EX, the texture. What did I just pull? Okay, guys, this is insane. My luck has just been outstanding recently. Um, this Mewtwo EX is a gorgeous card. Um, I will say that he's a little fat on the bottom, uh, chubby on the bottom. So the centering's off. The centering's pretty bad on this card, actually. But, um, you know, that's not going to take away from how cool I think it is. Uh, if, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. It, flares up with the light a little bit but there's kind of it's textured and it's kind of got concentric circles around so it looks like kind of like the the background is like either there's energy emanating from his hand or coming in to like kind of like blow up later obviously like one of the most powerful it's pro i mean i think he's the most powerful psychic type pokemon um one of the top two i don't know uh, I don't know where it stands, like if Mewtwo or Arceus is the strongest um, Pokemon. I think there's a whole video movie about that. So, um, yeah, and the centering is pretty bad on the back, too. So that's unfortunate, but the card's still cool. And I'm glad to finally have gotten something from Evolutions. Because uh, I've been, I mean, I guess I, I think I pulled like a, a Mega a Mega Venusaur, but uh, 
you know, I'm just getting ra one random pack here or there in, in the bigger collections. Um, man, that's exciting. What a, what a good, what a good pull day. So, um, just, to, just to go through it again. So here's the Eternatus cards that you get with as promo cards for the Eternatus, uh, V max collection. Both of these are really cool. I do prefer the Eternatus V. I just think the art's better on it. Um, especially with the way the hollow works. Um, here are my reverse rares from each of the six packs. I think if I was going to give a favorite, I think I got to give a shout out to this Pikachu Vivid Voltage, but also just, I like the, I like the art on it. He's just like so determined. It's just a little different than what you normally see. Um, my regular like hollow rares, um, Rhyperior and Porygon Z, both are pretty cool. Um, Porygon Z looks pretty cute. I actually like that. And the like the swivel, the way it, the hollow kind of looks is really cool in my opinion. And then like the heavy hitters um, on this side. So the Salamence V, who is just, I mean, who doesn't love a dragon? Um, the Mewtwo EX, which is just gold border, gorgeous card from Evolutions. And then the Italian Full Art V card here. Um, I'm going to put some prices up here at the end of the video. So that way you know, and I'll probably throw them in when I'm pulling them. So you've got... Uh, all the information as it's coming at you. So great pulls, fantastic. I hope you guys kind of like the new setup and enjoy that. Uh, I think it works a little bit better. So uh, if you've got a comment about that, please please share and uh, you know let me know who's uh, what your favorite card that was pulled today is. Uh, uh, if you could also go ahead and leave me a like, uh, I would appreciate that. And uh, as always, if you could subscribe, really helps the channel out. Uh, I hope to be doing a lot more of these and. Uh, you know, I find, I, I think that they're fun, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm really doing it for, for, for your guys' benefit too. So, uh, if you guys, if you guys like them, please, please, please let me know, show your support so we can uh, keep doing this. Um, as always have a wonderful day, a uh, good weekend. Cause it's a Friday for me here and, uh, you know, you'll be hearing from me again soon.